Live in Hollywood, Dana Devon. Here comes Dana Devon. Dana, good morning. Let's welcome Dana Devon, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hey. Spontaneous. You single? Yeah. yeah. Anybody in particular you're looking at? What are you up to later? <laughs> I love a man that hits on a pregnant woman. <laughs> Relatable. I think that you have to go on the turntable with me. Oh, hell no. Real. My husband told me that my eggs were getting old. And, um, <laughs> and it was a joke, but he was serious. And he would go, <laughs> and I'd go, what is that? And he goes, that's not me, it's your eggs. They're drying up. <laughs> Dana Devon is an award-winning journalist. What do you still want to accomplish? I want to feel that I've lived the best I can. A skilled interviewer. That time in your life, that courtship, you said was worse than when you lost your leg. Oh, yeah. I would rather someone come up and chop all my limbs off than go through what I went through. Commentator. When you do criticize someone's political views, you're insulting the very fiber of their being. And host. Extra. Dana. All right, thank you, Mark. And Oscar's new host, Jon Stewart, is talking about his big gig for the first time. Now, inside Barack Obama's 188-minute marathon workout, that's intense. But first, what did he just say? Now, Diane Lane shows us how to dodge a tough question without breaking a sweat. And the Golden Globe goes to Tina Fey, 30 Rock. A bad situation just got even worse for Britney, if that's possible. It's interesting, too, in the beginning, she was kind of the veto card. She didn't want him to do this. And as she started realizing, I think, that this was his passion, she got behind him, and she really immersed herself in this. Since you have a boy and a girl twin, are you seeing bits of yourself in them? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you think is the, the funniest thing that's ever happened on this set? All the girls got along really well one day. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay. Eva's crazy in love with the piano playing Frenchman who plays for the San Antonio Spurs. He can play the piano too? He plays the French? French? Oh my, marry him! <laughs> can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is he a good kisser? <laughs> <laughs> Guess who popped in and surprised us? We were just talking about you. What were you saying? What your first thought was when you found out that Jada was going to play a, a lesbian in the movie. I was like, how come I didn't get invited to the party? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> what time do these suits have to be back, do you think? That hurts us. No, that, no. Now you're hurting us. You're practically nude. No, I'm not. I have yes, clothes on. See, it's net. I got to tell you, your little booty in this oh, is so cute. Can you get a shot of just how cute that is? I would never let anybody do that to me. You are the only one. Damn. Did you have any support for your role? Huge support. Ah, we heard actually that you only paid yourself a dollar for good night and good luck. So we enjoyed it so much that we wanted to give you the dollar lucky. back. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'm taking it. This is like five lap dances right here. <laughs> Is that too much? No, I needed it. That's no, exact, you didn't. That's exact, I haven't had Banaka since the sixth grade. I know, right? How funny is but that? But don't ask me what I was doing in the sixth grade. Anyway. What were you doing in the sixth grade? Viewers connect with Dana, a wife and mother of two, who's not afraid to tell it like it is. I have been very open about my journey, and I had a tummy tuck, and I had a, you know, my boobs done after a baby, and <laughs> they were down here. I was tripping on them. All month long, I'll be popping up on some of your favorite shows. You almost killed somebody. That was bad. Where I'm showing up next, it's priceless. We are about to see the lovely Dana again. Dr. Reed, they need you to check on that stabbing victim in room 301. They told me earlier I am the Heidi Klum of aliens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>